Hello everybody and welcome to Muscatine in Focus. Today we have a Be Your Best segment and we're going to be talking to the Melon City Bike Club representatives. Today we have Dine and Deb that are going to share um, with the community everything that happens within this bike club and some of the, the cool events that are coming up um, this summer and uh, just throughout the, the year. So uh, without further ado, uh, I just want to welcome you two to the show. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. So the first question is, uh, tell us who you are um, and what you do mm -hmm. and where yep. you're from. Yep, I'm from Muscatine, kind of born and raised here, gone a few years, but for the most part, um, been around here all my life. And um, I am the president at this point of the Mellon City Bike Club. Um, and I've been a member for, oh gosh, a lot of years. So we've always um, enjoyed Muscatine rides, group rides throughout the years. We have several of them um, throughout the week that people can join and be a part of. You can catch the rides on our Facebook page, a Mellon City Bike Club. You can catch the rides on our website. Um, sometimes there'll be some emails go out. So we have a pretty good communication about all of our rides. So we can talk further about the rides as we move on. But. So from Muscatine, Iowa, right? Muscatine, yep, originally from here and been here. I'm also from Deb Elliott, also originally from Muscatine, Iowa, um, born and raised. Uh, started riding um, started riding when our kids were out of college and it was like, okay, now what do we do with ourselves? No sports, no activities, so now it's time for us. And so that's kind of when um, I got started riding and Charlie Harper helped us along. We had a little group of riders and he followed us faithfully and changed our tires. Tire, and, yeah. Yep. And we started out with some pretty poor equipment, and now we've got some pretty decent bikes. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Showed up down there with my little three-speed bike I can remember from my very first time. And <laughs> eventually um, looked at everybody else and went, oh, I think I'm going to have to do something about this. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So tell me about the Mellon City Bike Club, please. Like, you know, how does one become a member, you know, if they're interested, and where do they go to to get more information? Well, it, it's very informal. Um, you go, we go to Bar Harper's Bike Shop. Uh, and call or stop in. They'd love to see you. Both Greg and Jean will answer any questions you've got. We've got many rides that go out and different rides for different folks. Some are fast, some are slow, some are medium, some are on trails, some go out into the countryside. So just lots of opportunities for the Mel And the Mellon City Bike Club, I bet, has been around for what, 50 years, maybe? Mm -hmm. And basically there is a ride almost every night of the week yeah. and for all levels. I mean, any level of rider, families, um, anytime you want to ride, um, we have one. Uh, Monday night and Tuesday nights are more of our little, Monday night would be kind of a um, 12 to 15 mile mm -hmm. an hour ride. Maybe we go 20 miles, 15, 20 miles. Um, Tuesday nights, a real, a real kind of a social ride. That one is a little bit that's we we always direct our new riders to the Tuesday night ride. That seems to be a good ride for them. I was gonna say Tuesday night pedal and pizza ride. That just sounds great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's usually food that's involved at the end of our rides. Oh wow, that's nice. <laughs> so that's really nice. We enjoy that. We welcome e-bikes. Social. Um, and our uh, we nobody's left behind on this ride. And we say we start off slow and then we ease up. On Tuesday night. So about how many miles do you travel typically? I mean here I know it says like 15 to 25 miles for the Wednesday night dinner ride but what's the average ride that I guess probably depends on who's riding the bike? And due to darkness um, we try to stay on the, even on those rides maybe 25 miles I would say because it's a one-way ride and then we get for the um, dinner ride for the dinner yeah. ride the true dinner ride that we do out of our community that we go to a different location West Liberty, Wilton, We've done various, got across the bridge and gone Wapolo. to New, um, yeah, Wapolo, gone to New, New Boston. Boston. Um, so we kind of just select a ride that seems kind of a nice, fun and exciting ride. And then we get picked up at the restaurant that we decide to eat in at, that, at the end of our destination for that dinner ride. Very nice, yeah. Yeah, very nice. So a 25 mile bike ride, about how long does that take, would you say? Hour and a half, maybe. Hour and a half to two. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. that's not mm -hmm. bad at yeah. all. Yeah. Well, if you want to share with us some of the, you know, the events, you know, the first one that you know I have on, the, looks like there is an event right there. Yeah. Um, if you want to talk about those, that'd be great. Yeah, that was just a, a bike rodeo we did for a Cub Scout group two weeks ago. Okay. And that was really a lot of fun, and it was kind of exciting because they asked us to help them out with this rodeo because they did it just for their own Cub Scout pack. 
and there are 15 that were in it and they were working on some safety and they were going to get some badges and such and then they were also using it as a recruitment so they included inviting other scouts to come or pr prospective scouts to come on down and we did free helmet giveaway we fitted helmets we did an obstacle course taught them some things about safety the police officers came down and did some hand signal things with them and then they elect they got three more members for their pack by offering that it was all free just come down and um, learn how to kind of be a little more steady with your bike learn how to say you know right left turn with your hands and just um, teach Teach them some good safety tips and Greg Harper is a real advocate of this as well he comes down and shows the kids how to look at their bikes how to how to check the tires how to look at the chain how to make sure it's the right fit the right fit is so important and it's not a one-size-fits-all on a bike you do need to really be it's important to get your bike fitted correctly so so if you would be able to show um, the audience if someone if you see someone riding a bike and you do the right and left what does that look like the signals okay the right is two different signals now the right can be the, the left hand go up this way and then you can also go straight out with your right hand okay so that would be the, the, the right hand and then the left would be pointing out left and, and stop would be like this okay put your hand down like this to stop so. I think it's really important to know that because I know in Mulberry there's many mm -hmm. bikes and mm -hmm. um, which I think is great right um, the more the better and then also there's a lot of trails too so I think it's just nice to for everybody to see at mm -hmm. home what that mm -hmm. looks like. The other etiquette is, is that when you come up behind somebody, you announce to them that you're passing on the yes. left. Very important. And that's yes. very important because yes. folks just really- found out about that. I found out, I, I, I said, <laughs> yeah, I got docked off my bike and then broke my leg. Yeah. Oh but, no. But anyway, we moved on from that, but you definitely announce that you're passing on the left. Okay, so you just say on your left. On your left. Okay. Yep, and most people are, they're real friendly and then you smile and say have a nice day as you go around them because you know sometimes bikers they seem to travel in packs and then people are a little intimidated so you really try to use your best manners and yeah. try to you know give give the pedestrians there right away if there's a group behind me if i happen to be in the front but as i pass i tell them that i say there's about 10 of us back there you know yeah. say, passing on your left there's a group of us back here just so they're not trying to move over again right. because sometimes on the trail the walkers do like to walk several abreast yeah. so sometimes they are walking the entire width of the track so of the trail rather so sometimes it is good to give them that notice that there's a lot more riders behind them so sure and then um, you guys have a an event coming up not this weekend but next weekend, correct? The Mellon City Criterium is that? It's yeah, uh, Memorial Day Memorial weekend Day on the twenty weekend. ninth Sunday. Right. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to share with us kind of about what that what that looks like? Yeah, sure. Um, there's just some pictures of some of the oh, people getting some awards after a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> it's the forty second annual Mellon City Criterium, and it's basically a three day race. They start in Burlington. And then the, the racers race down there in Snake Alley. Then they come up to Muscatine on Sunday and race around Weed Park. So and then Monday they go on up to Village of East Davenport. So it's just a, a criterium race that um, Muscatine's always been involved in. And um, they come to, our, come to Muscatine and race around the park. It's very We've, exciting. And they're uh, riders from across yes. the United States. I mean, they're from... California to the East Coast. Yeah, they're yeah. really oh, wow. they, we get some really really good riders. There's a, there's a picture a good picture of it that Chad has there of one of the turns there by the lagoon. Oh yeah, around down there and, and they've always loved Weed Park's tra um, uh, uh, route because it has that extra, that little hill going up and you don't realize when you're going around forty sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Right. By the time you get to that fortieth time on that hill, depending on what leg of the race you're in, it's pretty pretty rough. So. Yeah, and what are some other events you'd like to talk about that are coming up? Um, Deb, do you want to talk about Charlie's? Well, um, it's September 18th, this is a, a new event. We don't know if it's a one-time thing or if it'll be a reoccurring event, but it's to honor Charlie Harper, and he was our fearless leader, you know, mm -hmm. just. He was. So anyway, and he passed away about over a little bit over a year ago, and so we're going to have a memorial ride for him on September 18th. We're going to start from the riverfront, all abilities um, of biking are welcome to come. We're gonna have a group of faster pace riders. We have got a group of what I call the medium pace riders. And then we'll have a group of the people that really wanna take their time. And anybody is invited. The only requirement is you wear a helmet. Mm -hmm. 
And so hopefully we'll be uh, getting some more information out about exact starting times. Some of the groups may start at different times. And at the end of the ride on that Sunday afternoon, we'll probably meet down at, uh, at uh, one of the local restaurants and we'll get together and, mm -hmm. and uh, kind well, of toast celebration. Charlie. Yes. Yep, toast yes, Charlie. Charlie. So anyway, it's, it was a big loss. It was yes, a big it loss was. for our And group, Charlie was so. such an advocate for riders. And uh, like Deb said early on, the one thing I can never, I'll never forget is going over the bridge, kind of one of my first couple, three years, we were riding over to Illinois and I had a flat tire. And right on the bridge, Charlie, he was right there, Johnny on the spot, and he really helped us out. He was always, always there for us and really enjoyed. He enjoyed the club. He enjoyed riding. He enjoyed people. He At really all did. levels. Yes. All levels all of bikers. And so we yes. welcome. And Special Olympics was one of his loves. Yes. And there was a Special Olympics torch ride. Mm -hmm. And uh, he always yeah. was a big proponent of that. So. Yes. Anyway, we're hoping that a lot of people, whether they got to ever get to know Charlie or not, will join us on that memorial ride. E-bikes are welcome, um, which is another brand new thing that's yeah. really gotten to be popular. That must lately. be a new thing. I haven't. I mean, I've heard a, about a couple of them, but e-bikes. Oh, they're all, yeah. they're out there. They're you out can hardly there. tell that they're an e-bike. Really? They were on Ragbri last year. Last year was the first year they allowed um, e-bikes on Ragbri last year. So, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say an e-bike would be great on Folium Hill, wouldn't it? <laughs> Yes, I had to ride yes. my bike up there a couple, well, several days ago, and that was, yeah. that was hard. Must be they have some hills. <laughs> yes, can, they do. You can usually find some hills. Well, another thing I'll talk about is tomorrow evening there is going to be a bike rodeo, and that is we're working in um, cooperation with Parks and Rec. So Parks and Rec and Mellon City Bike Club um, are putting on this community bike rodeo and bike ride. So down at the soccer complex, the soccer west, the old um, parking lot, kind of on the south side, is going to be designated for an obstacle course so that we can do our um, bike rodeo. We're going to do some more bike safety, give away some free helmets, fit helmets if people would like. And then after we're done with that, we will do a trail ride down to Deep Lakes. So that's going on tomorrow evening from 5 to 7. So um, that'll be a nice opportunity for families to come down with their kids, you know, get them fitted for helmets, get a new one if they need one, and learn a little bit about bike safety. So that's happening tomorrow evening. Um, one thing I want to make a shout out to a little bit is about how the youth mountain biking has, is becoming quite a thing. And um, they're really interested in it. They, uh, and other, not even just the youth, but um, adults as well. And they are asking our chamber about where are the off-road bike trails in Muscatine. And I'm part of the Mellon City, or the uh, Muscatine Trails group too, that a community group that works on trails. You know, additional trails, um, new trails, you know, what can we do to improve trails? And one of the things that we're gonna add to our little list of trails that we're looking at are, are putting in some some mountain biking trails, some off-road trails that will be considered um, from, for the city that they can offer them up. You know, there are some trails out there, but they're not necessarily, um, I don't, the legal's not the right word, but they aren't necessarily registered as right. biking trails. So we want to get to that point where we can offer that because the young gentleman, Ben Dalby, that, is joint, that has initiated this youth uh, mountain biking group has to take them up to the Quad Cities. So when their group goes out for a ride, they go up to the Quad Cities. So we want to get that to where that we can have something here for the mountain bikers and the off-road folks that want to really ride there. So that's something that's growing. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. I know several people that uh, ride bike and uh, they go to the Quad Cities. And then there's like another um, another course on right on the other side of Illinois or the other side of the river, I should say. Uh -huh. Um, next to the Quad Cities, and I actually tried that once. That was my first trail, and uh, I almost got I almost got in a wreck. But that that's just because I'm new to it. So yeah, um, more practice, right? Yes, more yes. practice. So so what other events are coming up, if I may ask? We also do a um, family bike ride that we uh, cooperate with the Art Center on that. And then the uh, Mellon City Bike Club gets together a family group and then we take a ride up to the Ice Cream Social mm -hmm. at the Art Museum. Oh, and then great. they have kids games and activities and there's music and um, various um, ice cream, free ice cream for the kids. So we've done that for several years and I believe that is August 21st this year. Uh, there'll be stuff out there, of course, on, on it, but we'll be doing, doing that again this year. We offer that as well. Um, they basically just in general want to 
you know, encourage everybody to check out our club, come down for one of our rides. Um, really, we are a social group, really, for the most part, and we really enjoy having more people, and we'd love to get a larger group of riders. All Families ages. are welcome, and yeah. Uh, there is a Father's Day ride up in the Quad Cities, Every a really nice trail ride mm -hmm. uh, up in the Quad Cities on, on Father's yeah, Day. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah. Uh, there's Tom Rov, which is uh, a, a, that's kind of a competitive, not a competitive, a challenging ride. Yeah. It's 100, 100 miles on Saturday and another 100, additional 100 miles on a Sunday. So it's a big ride, and it's one that you might want to practice a little bit before that you, you, you tried Tom Rov. But uh, yeah, it's just a... It, Cycling is just such a wonderful thing, you know, from every age group, from, you know, the tricycles and the big wheels to, yes. and our, our riverfront is perfect for starting out. Yes. And then you could go down to Deep Lakes Park. Yes. I yes. mean, that is, anybody that's not ridden a bike can park at the top of the, where the trailhead is, where the Melon City Bike Club built the pavilion. Mm -hmm. That pavilion was donated by right. Melon City Bike Club and, uh, one of the high school, Catholic high schools, uh, graduating class, mm -hmm. put in the, yeah. some of the We now have three nice trailheads in Muscatine, yeah. kind mm -hmm. of positioned nicely along the route, and that's, water that's stations. really, yeah, water stations, and that's really nice. Fix it stations. Yep, yep. I was gonna say, Definitely. our Parks and Rec, they do a really good they job do. taking care of everything. Yes, you absolutely. Know, so what I'm, what I'm seeing right here is, number one, you have, Everybody is biking as a group, like you guys mentioned, as a pack, mm -hmm. which is really nice. So there's the socializing. Mm -hmm. You get to right. get out, socialize, get out of the house. I mean, look at that picture. That's just, mm -hmm. wow, that, that's amazing. And then there, there's also the health benefits, too. Yes. Um, Absolutely. Which allows everybody to, you know, afterwards have some fun, eat, and mm -hmm. uh, socialize mm -hmm. even more. So, yeah. And, that was oh, it. That's a rag bride. Yeah, that's yeah, one of the cities okay. um, on rag bride. That's gonna and that Mason City ride over to Charles City is gonna be declared the Charlie Harper ride on um, oh, wow. rag bride this year. So when you're riding there, that'll be his a ride dedicated that's to Thursday, him for that's that Thursday. That's Thursday of rag bride. Yes, yes. And there's his new um, pavilion, the new trailhead. Yeah, down at the soccer complex. Yeah, Mill City Bike Club volunteers built that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. Is there, uh, and then uh, Joe Mann also, is there? There's been a yearly ride for him that his, that his wife Connie and family have always put together okay. and they've started the riverfront. I, I guess we will, that, that'll remain to be seen. I haven't heard sure. specifically if there'll be another um, ride or not this year, but um, I'm sure that if there is, that people will hear about it. So, okay, yeah. yeah, there's a there's a memorial He's got a little, plaque. He's got a memorial that, that's down great, there. that's yes, wonderful. Absolutely. Very yeah. good. And we're so lucky to have these extension on these trails, like even the, the new, the new newest ones, which are the Deep Lakes, and then up West Side Hill to go up Hauser that connects you to Discovery Park. So our trail system now is, is getting, little by little, segments are getting put in place to allow us to have that opportunity to have a longer ride on the, just on the trails and not have to go on the roads. So And they're always working nice. to tie into either Louisa County a little bit better and up to the Quad Cities a little bit better. Yeah. So, you know, the the goals keep getting, you know, as we get to one goal, we attain one goal, we move on to the next. We try to keep a working map going on the trails committee where we can look at that. That way you can jump on a grant opportunity maybe. Maybe you'll hear about one that you need to get really fast in there. There's federal grants, there's state grants, and that's how you keep building your trail system is by utilizing some of those opportunities and cooperation with other counties. That really is very helpful. Very good. Well, I was going to say, is there anything else you'd like to touch on while you have your audience in front of you? Um, anything else you'd like us. to share? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yes. And yeah. please just check our website, check the Facebook page, Mellon City Facebook page, Bike Club Facebook page. We put, post our rides on there every Monday, Tuesday. We actually try to get them out there. Um, they're sometimes pick up weekend rides. Not only do we just have them during the week, but somebody might just say, hey, let's ride out and have breakfast at Wilton. So then we'll put that out there so people can always be aware that there's going to be a ride and it'll be a group. So, And really fancy equipment. You don't have to have, you know, the fanciest of fancy bikes. Any A, a good sturdy bike with some good tires and a helmet, yes. and you can join us. And a shout out maybe to um, Muscatine as a member of the Bicycle Coalition, the Iowa Bicycle Coalition right, for true. advocacy. And we will, um, on occasion, work with the 
Iowa Bicycle Coalition to, you know, for some bills that are out there pending, they may call on us, our group, and send an email out and say, hey, can you guys get a hold of your legislator because we really need to push this along and it might be, you know, passing. Right now there's one out there on the, how far you can pass on the other side of a bike and there's always something out there for bike safety and advocacy that we can help with. So we try to stay involved in that respect too for advocacy. Very good, yeah. very good. Well, thank you to so much for being yes. on the show today, and You're um, Thank you for we'll look us. forward to more information. And again, uh, visit their website and also the Facebook page as well, the Mellon City Bike Club Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm sure you can reach out to these two and ask yeah. questions whenever you would like. But uh, thank you, Muscatine, and uh, look forward to seeing you in two weeks. And uh, remember, be your best, and thank you so much.